So I put in the water at 9 a.m. It's just after 11 now. I'm gonna leave the canoe here. I have my stick bow, I have a fishing rod, a couple tools, a bit of extra warm clothing, and my sleeping gear. But what I don't have is any kind of shelter or any kind of food. My plan is to spend 50 hours out here total, foraging, fishing, and collecting whatever food I can find in these woods. But I feel like that's gonna be quite difficult because we're in the middle of November and it feels extremely sparse out here. That being said, it's about zero degrees Celsius, so it's kinda of cold. So I'm gonna head on out, 48 hours remaining. So happy I went with the rain boots on this trip. Even though it's dry and there's no rain on the forecast, there's still puddles here and there's nothing worse than having wet feet, especially when it's hovering around zero degrees. That's a chanterelle. Look at that. I don't think they'd be out here right now. It's an older one, but that's still edible. So here's the thing, even though I'm like 99% certain this is a chanterelle, it's not worth it for me to even try this. There's so few calories in it and there's a small chance that it might make me sick that it's not worth it. Say there were hundreds of these things around, I could then maybe sample part of one, see if that makes me slightly sick. And if it doesn't, then I have all those calories that I can go after. But in this case, because there's just one, it's not worth my time. So this is the lake that I'm going to stay at. The plan is I'm just going to fish from the shore and work my way around until I find a nice place to camp and hopefully by then I have a fish. <laughs> we'll see, right? Alright, so bad news. My fishing rod's broken. Right here. Right here. I might have tape. It's a bummer. All I have for tape are these gear aid patches for like repairing Gore-Tex. This is not ideal. I'm gonna tape it and then I'm gonna splint it. With what? That is not gonna hold. What do I have? This is not good. I'll use one of the arrows. All right, I splinted it with one of my arrows. This thing is a, it's a little bit in the way, but a little bit of tape here and then uh, here, it still gives enough bend at the end. Should be good, should be. Use a little MEP spinner. Well. <laughs> oh, she casts like a beauty. I almost, I almost slipped on this log and got my foot completely soaked, but I held on. No wet feet for me yet, knock on wood. All right, let's keep going. Wintergreen. That's bad. Mmm, still a little tasty though. It's a nice, nice flavor those wintergreens have. Nope, 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 Dang! We went over. Oh. I was trying to avoid that. Well, I deserve it. I deserve it. I got wet feet for the rest of the trip. Pretty bummed out about my boot. I just got the one. Yeah, it's completely soaked. But that was just be me being stupid, so I, I deserve it. Things take forever to dry out, too, so. Here's some more chanterelles. I guess I could take these. I'm gonna take them. Might as well take a couple of them. There you go. There's gotta be more around. Handful of chanterelles. A few calories. Good old sun. Missed ya. Socket hook too. There's no way I was getting that out. 
Things are not going very well right now. Let's hope they don't get worse before they get better. Knock on wood. I'm gonna try the spoon. I wonder where the fish are at. They might be deep, you know, right? Oh yeah, that's one. That is a fish. Okay. All right. Oh my, that's a fish. Holy shit. Oh. Holy crap. That was like the biggest brook trout I've ever seen. And it got away. Damn. Oh, that's the problem with barbless hooks. And I was trying to shore it because I don't have a net. Oh, dang. I got so excited because I'm actually pretty hungry. That would have been food for two days. Yeah, so the reason why I'm wearing all this orange, if anybody was wondering, it's open season for deer right now. So people are out hunting in the woods with guns. And even though I'm not hunting with a gun and I'm not hunting big game, I'm only hunting small game, I'm still required to wear hunter's orange because I'm out hunting small game. All right, let's keep going. I just saw one swim by and I tried to cast it out as quickly as possible. I think I honestly think it's a, a numbers game. Like I saw that fish swim by and made me think that maybe the fish are just circling the shoreline looking for food. And so with enough cast, they'll, uh, they'll bite. So it's probably most ideal for me to get into a position where I can shore the fish so I can actually um, bring it all the way in and uh, keep it as opposed to losing it on the retrieval. I lost one of my arrows. It must have got pulled off by a branch. It's unfortunate. Couldn't find it. Please. No. shaft is completely broke and I'm gonna lose that lure so it wants to come out it's gone so the whole whole thing is broken now I was being an idiot wasn't I that's all that's all my fault I'm such a brute when it comes to some of these things this is not good it's like my source for food is uh trash this is uh not good let's go make camp I mean, if I can fit. It's not bad. A little less headroom, but can play. I think I have to sleep here to be honest. It's just too cool. I should probably get rid of this widow maker. Yeah, you firewood too. fire pit right in front of my shelter. Call it a day. So I'm a hundred percent sleeping in here. So when you're looking to sleep in a cave you want to make sure that 
there's no poo anywhere, especially like little, well, poo of any sort. <laughs> Porcupines tend to like areas like this, so they'll just like crawl their way in and uh, there'll be a lot of poo on the outside and that's a great indicator to know if uh, any wildlife's living there. But quite lucky there's nothing here, so we're gonna call this home. Also looking for a couple boot sized rocks so I can dry my feet later. I'm gonna get the fire pit set up, maybe cut a little bit of wood. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get enough rocks for a fire pit. I have enough wood for a fire and then I'm just gonna go back out and go fishing. Beautiful pieces. There's a potential that this fire is going to smoke me out. This we'll just have to wait and see, eh? But I'm going to go catch fish. It's going to happen. So this looks good enough for now. I'm going to get my headlamp. I'm going to get my headlamp, just my fishing gear, and we're just going to go see if we can catch a fish. This actually seems like a pretty good spot. All right, let's see how the rod holds up. No. Oh, I'm having no luck. Lost another lure. I'm having, uh, I wouldn't call it luck because it's definitely my fault, but I'm having trouble unhooking these, these stuck lures. Another MEP spinner. I can't afford to get any more stuck because not only do I not have many, it's just a waste of time. Let's uh, try a different spot. I'm starting to wish I didn't debarb all these hooks. This is the most pathetic fishing rod I've ever seen. Let's move on. 45 minutes of sunlight left. There's some more chanterelles here. I could pick them, but I'm not gonna touch them. I really don't feel like eating those on an empty stomach. Wow, holy. Look at the gills on this thing. They're like icicles. I think I've seen this in one of my books. I don't quite know what it is. Obviously I'm not gonna eat it, but man is that ever cool. So this isn't going at all as planned. The plan was to catch a huge fish, then shoot a moose, and then crawl up inside the moose as my shelter. But none of that's worked out so far. We're on plan B, we gotta sleep underneath a rock tonight. No fish dinner, sun's about to set, so fishing is almost over for the day. I'm gonna try a couple more casts and then uh, go back to camp. Make a fire, make some tea. Last cast. Well, 
No luck today. I have these chanterelles, but there's so few, it's not worth it for me to eat these right now on an empty stomach. I'll put them by the fire, maybe they'll dry out, and uh, I can maybe eat them later. I don't know, a bit of an experiment, could be a bad idea, but I'm definitely not going to eat them right now. Nice. I guess I'll leave my shoes off for now. Ooh, what a lovely scent. Come on. Once the rock cools down a bit, I'm gonna throw it in my right boot, the one that I got a soaker with, and uh, hopefully it'll help dry it out a bit. Too hot right now. We start far away and then we bring it closer. It's a bit hot to the touch, but let's get her in there. I can see the steam coming out already. Woo! That smells disgusting. All right, let's keep it up. Cedar. Thank you, Mr. Cedar Tree. Dinner. Yum. Definitely feel my stomach. Kind of hungry. I haven't eaten in 12 hours. Like my last meal was around 7:30 this morning. It's now probably about 7:30. It being only 12 hours in, and I have 50 hours total. I just hope that I can catch a fish tomorrow. That would be nice. At least I got me some tea. Ah, ooh, the tea's good. Yeah, the tea's really good. I like to think that... I would have to go through all this difficulty today. I know, breaking my rod, getting water in my boot. These are trivial things when it comes down to it, but discomforts and difficulties so I like to think that I'm going to be rewarded in the future for my efforts. But who knows, maybe the reward is, doesn't come in the form of a fish tomorrow. Maybe it comes in the form of uh, some valuable lessons learned. Who knows, right? All I can say is I'm pretty pumped to be here. and 
Still have 38 hours remaining. Maybe even more. There's a rock right underneath my back. But I'm like an inch away from the ceiling. We're gonna, yeah, there's a lot of dirt here. I'm gonna take all this, pack it in over there so I can sleep the opposite way because I want to be able to have some headroom in there. Yeah, if a bear comes, he can just like grab my head and pull me out of my cave easier. I'll have less of a fight, but that being said, it's comfier. I know some people are wondering, what if it, what if it falls? Well, this rock's probably been in the same position for the last 10, 20,000 years. Since the last Ice Age. So, the chances of it moving in the next two nights, probably pretty slim. It's just after eight o'clock, which means it hasn't even been in 12 hours yet. Anyways, I'm gonna get some sleep. Maybe at least lay here and watch the fire, so. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. I slept really well last night. Sun's coming up. Ooh, it's chilly out. Woo! <sighs> oh, yeah, she's chilly. So, the plan is I'm going to start a small fire, boil some water leave most of my stuff here, take a small bag with fishing equipment and my bow, and I'm gonna circle the lake a bunch. See if I can catch a fish, see if I can see a grouse. Or anything, really. Yeah, I really hope to catch a fish today. Like negative three right now, about 26 degrees Fahrenheit. So I got my boots relatively dry. Just a tiny bit at the heel, believe it or not, is a little what, damp. Super bearable. Way better than they were before. I probably put that hot rock in there six times. It definitely helped. The issue now is I got a little bit of a puncture here through the side. It's not all the way through, but I tested it and water does get in, so. Gotta be very careful. But, I don't have completely wet feet today. Woo! So I did bring a little luxury, a little bit of Insta coffee. Is it cheating? 
I don't know. Is it food? Is it food? I don't know. I do ingest it. Oh, here's one of the mushrooms from last night. <laughs> it's, all the other ones are gone. That one's completely dry though. I'm not gonna eat it. Not enough calories. Some army guy told me that if I make my bed bright and early in the morning, even if I have a bad day, I still come back to a nicely made bed and it makes the day all good. That sun is wonderful. Ooh. These would have been great puffballs a couple weeks, months ago. Edible, but not anymore, obviously. More chanterelles. So I was chatting with a friend the other day and they said that every morning they write down three things they're grateful for and three things that they wish to accomplish during the day, as well as one affirmation. And I just thought that was really cool and I wanted to wake up and do it this morning, but I totally forgot, so I'm gonna do it now. I'm grateful that my boots are dry. I'm grateful that I still have somewhat of a fishing rod. I'm grateful to be out here. Three things that I wish to accomplish today are, I hope to walk around this whole lake, I hope to get another chance at a fish, and I hope to make it through today with a positive attitude. And then the affirmation, you got this. I thought that was pretty cool, so I just wanted to participate. Anyways, we're like a 16th of the way around the lake. I've been kind of meandering in and out, stopping every once in a while, trying to hear if I can hear some wildlife. Not getting anything, not even, not even a chipmunk or a squirrel. So I'm gonna say is the name of the game. Definitely feel my tummy grumbling. It's been over 24 hours now since my last meal. I like the challenge though. This has been a lot of fun. I'm gonna fish here. This looks like a great spot. There's a fire pit here. I don't know how old it is, but I'm guessing this is a good spot to fish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time here. Ever since I quit drugs and alcohol, food has been such a dopamine hit for me. I have a pretty decent metabolism, so I don't gain weight very easily. But when I go like looking for like a little bit of something extra, I, uh, I'll eat a bit of food, you know, junk food. Not like terrible, but burgers and chicken burgers and fries and whatever. So like right now when I'm just feeling a little bit lethargic, bored, destimulated, I go to like thoughts of food, but good for me to be away from that, you know? I mean, not have that option. Right now I'm just thinking about that chocolate bar that's sitting on the dashboard of my car. <laughs> what a tease. I have about uh, 25 hours remaining, so we're officially halfway through. I feel like we're just getting started though, you know? All right. A few more casts, then I'm gonna keep moving around the lake. I don't feel like this is the spot. It felt like the spot, it's not the spot. It doesn't feel like the spot anymore. I'm done with the spot. Let's move on. to survival equipment you have to have gear that's reliable and durable <laughs> and this fishing rod was uh, neither it broke far too easily twice broke twice my tummy's yelling at me this might be the longest I've ever gone without food as soon as I said food my stomach started rumbling 
I think I'm gonna get another bite today. Will I be able to land it? That's another story. Better rod and a fishing net would go a long way here. The boat doesn't seem to be doing me much help. Some wintergreen. Hmm, pretty good. More of just like a tease than anything. There's like no calories in this. Not literally no calories, but it feels as if there's no calories. Might as well be zero calories. That's what I'm saying. Mmm. It's quite nice. Alright, let's keep going. Wearing this orange is scaring the fish. I don't know. I have a feeling that the fish are getting spooked by my my orange. So. I just really like this spot because it'll be easy to land the fish. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Holy shit. Oh my god. Dude, what the heck is this thing? That is the biggest fish I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Oh my god. What the heck did I just catch? <laughs> yes! yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you. This thing is a monster. Holy crap. <sighs> that is the biggest brook that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what the heck is this thing? Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> that is such a, that's like, like, what the heck is this thing? This thing is a monster. My god. That is like, that is a good amount of food right there. All right, we are feasting tonight. We are having a feast tonight. We're basically exactly on the opposite side of the lake from our campsite. I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna finish the walk around. Maybe I'll find my arrow, cause it's uh should be over there somewhere on the Long Night Shore. But uh, yeah. My goodness. And for anybody wondering, uh, this, this lake is open all year round for brook trout. So some people might be confused why I'm catching a brook trout in November. I'm like, what the heck? It's like as long as my freaking boot. It's bigger than my boot. Now my boot smells like fish, but at least you can see how big this fish is. Just over two years ago is the first time I started fishing. And uh, gutting the fish was, uh, it was a little squeamish. Now it's like not an issue. And now I'm out here catching fish with my broken arrow rod. Part of me does feel a little bit bad taking this entire fish for myself, but I will eat every little bit of it. I've not eaten in 27 hours now. A little heart. 
Curious what you can eat raw from these fish. I hear that you're not supposed to be eat any part of a freshwater fish raw. Looks pretty good. Time to bring her home. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. Uh. Believe it or not, that's the first squirrel I've seen. Wouldn't want to shoot that though. Too cute. And we found it. Great. Perfect. It's a good feeling. All five arrows. Home sweet home. So one thing I've been learning about survival is there's quite a misconception that a trained professional can just go out into the woods and survive off nuts and berries and thrive off the land. That's not really the case, especially when it comes to mixed, the mixed deciduous forest where I'm at or the boreal forest, which I also frequent. It's just quite sparse there. Food is infrequent, it's seasonal. Picking mushrooms and berries is not gonna sustain you. The thing is you really need big game and fish. Those are the two biggest staples for long-term survival out in these types of woods and that's part of the reason why i'd like to get into hunting a little bit or at least understand it part of my journey is becoming a better outdoorsman and part of that is really being able to maintain myself and sustain myself out, out here i'm trying to get the fishing down i'm getting better at it but the next component is definitely being able to uh, harvest land creatures. I know some people have a, a little bit of a discomfort with that, and that's okay. It's, it's, it might not be for everybody, but um, it's, a, it's a journey that I would like to go down because ultimately I would love to learn as much as I can about wilderness survival and the outdoors in general. I need to find a plate for this thing. It's so big. Found one. You can also use that as a frying pan. So I also brought some salmon seasoning just because you don't want to see me suffer. You guys want to see me thrive out here. And I know that you can taste this through the screen. And I know you want this covered in seasoning salt. I've never cooked a fish this large this way before. So let's see how it turns out. Wow, yep, yeah. Quite a bit of ash on it, but. That's great. I'm eating tons of charcoal, but that's so good. <laughs> it's so good. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Hot. Hey, that looks a little traumatizing. I flipped it over. Here's part of its jaw. We're gonna get rid of that. 
Yeah, all of its jaws gone, but there's its eyeball. Yeah, not bad. I think the grossest part is the texture and the thought of it. But other than that, it's like an oyster. No, it's not. The problem with this method is every once in a while I bite into a piece of charcoal. I hear charcoal is good for cleaning your teeth, so I guess it's not a problem. It's a solution. I ain't going hungry tonight. Put some of that seasoning on there. Fish, fish, fish. Yum, yum, yum. I'm eating fish, 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 fish. Yum. I got fish all over me. Bears are going to love me tonight. Oh, I was so hungry this morning, but now I am the opposite. That is as good as it's going to get. This is some of the skin. I'm not going to eat that. It's kind of burnt. And then this is what I have remaining. Never thought I would do a mukbang on a survival challenge. That was an excessive amount of fish. Maybe you can see in the video when I was going to smack the fish. I was like about to put it out. I hesitated. I'm like, this is a big fish. That is a big commitment. That is a big responsibility. But it was either that or nothing. And uh, I feel pretty grateful to have a meal as full as I am now. Yeah, it cooked pretty well. A bear's probably gonna come by here later. He's gonna smell the smell of fish, come by and realize that like I picked an awesome spot to hibernate. He's gonna maul me. He's gonna take over my my little rock fort. Man, yeah, I'm covered in fish now. I'm um, Nice to have a full belly. Well, I admit, I feel like I didn't suffer enough. Maybe next time I go up for longer. Cedar tea again.
Good morning. It's quite warm. I like warm, but it's uh, not cool. So yesterday I really enjoyed doing that three things I was grateful for as well as those three things that I hope to accomplish. Which by the way, I did accomplish all those things. Hiked around the lake, had another chance at a fish and kept a positive attitude. For today, the things I'm grateful for are my rock hut, that fish that now resides in my belly, and my warm bed tonight. And the three things that I hope to accomplish today are I hope to clean up really well around here, I hope to hike out of here, and I hope to muck that entire chocolate bar that's in my car. <laughs> which I'm sure won't be a problem. Anyways, things really turned around on this trip and uh, it's uh, quite a memorable one. I start packing up, I got a couple hours left, which should get me to my car and uh, that'll be about 50 hours. So I was just walking back and I spooked a grouse and it flew up this way. Hard to tell how far it went, but chances are it's gone, but I'm gonna take a look anyways because it would be some tasty eating. If I shot a grouse, I'd eat it right now. I'd make a fire and cook it up, 100%. I don't think it's happening today. It's kind of funny because I spent the last two days hiking around 15 kilometers and didn't see a grouse until the very last hour, 50 feet from my canoe. <laughs> That's so funny. Got away though. It's all good. Another day. So it's well past 11 a.m., which means we have completed the 50 hours out here. That's a lot of fun. Maybe I'll have to do 100 hours next time. Maybe. I'll have to wait though, because winter's fast approaching, so I don't know if I can do it this year. In any case, that was an awesome trip, and I hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.